Welcome to the 41st Pathfinder Awards Program presented by Pathfinders of Palm Beach and Martin Counties. This is Janie Fote, President of the Pathfinder Board of Directors. For over four decades, we have honored the most outstanding high school seniors in Palm Beach and Martin Counties. In that time frame, over 20,000 students were nominated by their schools as Pathfinder nominees. It has been our extreme privilege to celebrate all of them. We have awarded over $4.3 million in college scholarships to over 2,600 students, and we will add to that number tonight. The Pathfinder Scholarship Program was established by the Palm Beach Post in 1984, and we are so appreciative of their continued support as our founding partner. Please welcome Rick Christie. Thank you, Janie, and good evening, everyone. I'm Rick Christie, executive editor of the Palm Beach Post and deputy regional editor for the USA Today Network in Florida. As Palm Beach County's largest and most influential news organization, the Palm Beach Post is proud of its history with Pathfinders. This wonderful, inspiring initiative, which with the Post has a long and rich history, is one of the most comprehensive high school scholarship programs in Florida. For 41 years, the Post and Pathfinders have been highlighting some of the brightest students in our local schools with the prestigious Pathfinder Awards. This year, Pathfinders is honored to have interviewed 544 nominees from 44 public and private schools from Palm Beach and Martin counties. The mission of Pathfinders, recognizing some of the sharpest and most talented students in our local high schools, dovetails with the Post's own mission of producing independent, award-winning journalism for our community. The Post has been providing news and information to and about our diverse Palm Beach County community for more than a century. That includes interesting, important, and relevant coverage of our local schools and the students and parents that depend on them. We believe that our coverage of local schools is tantamount to our overall mission of defending our democracy with factual, timely reporting that enlightens our readers. So on behalf of the dozens of hardworking journalists at the Palm Beach Post, congratulations to all this year's Pathfinder nominees. We share in the pride of your parents and supporters this evening and wish you all the best in your future endeavors. For over 30 years, SunFest of Palm Beach County has participated in Pathfinders by awarding a college scholarship to one of our Music Instrumental nominees. We are excited to announce that this year's SunFest Music Scholarship Award goes to Kara Ravashiri from Dreyfus School of the Arts. Congratulations, Kara. Now, on to the Pathfinder Awards. Tonight, we are celebrating 544 nominees and will award 54 Pathfinder College Scholarships. There are 18 categories. In each category, the first place winner receives $3,000, second place wins $2,000, and third place $1,500. We will award a total of $117,000 in Pathfinder Scholarships tonight. The first Pathfinder category is World Language. The third place winner is Mario Suarez from St. Andrew School. The second place winner is Addington McKern from William T. Dwyer High School. And the winner in World Language is Ryan Awad from West Boca Raton High School. Ryan is a bright, intelligent young man with a passion for the Spanish language. He is also fluent in French and speaks intermediate Arabic and beginner's Russian as well. Ryan's grasp of the complexities of Spanish earned him a distinguished mention on his Spanish ACE AS test. He excels in speech and debate and is in the Future Business Leaders of America. Outside of the classroom, Ryan volunteers as a lifeguard and swim coach. Using his multilingual skills, to teach non-native English-speaking swimmers. Ryan plans to study business or finance and pre-law with the goal of working in foreign affairs. 
The next Pathfinder category is Theater Arts. The third place winner is Kelsey Bonner from West Boca Raton High School. The second place winner is Jonathan Buckner from Wellington High School. And the winner in Theater Arts is Vaughn Markarian from Dreyfus School of the Arts. Vaughn is an impressive thespian with what one teacher called a rare combination of passion and professionalism. He received five superior marks from the International Thespian Society in 2023 for playwriting, monologues, duet musical, large group musical, and ensemble acting. Vaughn volunteered at the Kravis Center's Arts Camp, helping campers connect with their creative sides. He plans to study acting, pursue a master's degree, and then attend a playwright residency. He ultimately wants to write stories for the stage for major British playhouses. The next Pathfinder category is sports. The third place winner is Cecilia O'Need from Jupiter High School. The second place winner is Bryn Stoneberg from Jensen Beach High School. And the winner in the sports category is Jake Chavis from FAU High School. Jake, a 4.0 student, is dual enrolled at the Wilkes Honor College at FAU and will have his bachelor's degree in biochemistry before he turns 18. Jake's true passion is tennis. As captain of FAU's varsity tennis team, he led them to the 2023 state championship. He teaches tennis at Tenorio Tennis Academy, and he's volunteered more than 300 hours with the Delray Beach Open tennis tournament. While Jake's goal is to play professional tennis, he also hopes to earn his master's degree, attend law school, and one day practice law. The next Pathfinder category is Science. The third place winner is Theodore O'Yan from Suncoast High School. The second place winner is Nira Goyle from Martin County High School. And the winner in Science is Ava Allwert from St. Andrew's School. Inspired by her grandfather's battle with Parkinson's, Ava is driven to use computer science to find cures for biologically complex diseases. Her work includes research projects with Harvard Medical School and UF Scripps Biomedical Research. She was a finalist in the Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair and was published twice in two science journals. As a volunteer of more than 750 hours with the International Youth Neuroscience Association, Ava built chapter networks in more than 35 countries and oversaw a department with more than 60 volunteers. Ava plans to study biomedical engineering. The next Pathfinder category is Reach for Excellence. The third place winner is Michaela Janti from Park Vista High School. The second place winner is Kai Franks from American Heritage School. And the winner in Reach for Excellence is Brooke Taylor from Spanish River High School. Brooke's own experience with a learning disability inspired her to work with and advocate for children with special needs. She is an AP scholar with distinction holds an ACE Diploma with Merit, has served on two Congressional Youth Cabinets, volunteered with Top Soccer, and is the president and founder of the Learning Disability Awareness Club at her school. Brooke plans to study political science or public policy before attending law school and specializing in educational law. Her goal is to represent and advocate for students with special needs and one day serve as an elected school board member. The next Pathfinder category is music vocal. The third place winner is Olivia Reed from Seminole Ridge High School. The second place winner is Ava Diamond from William T. Dwyer High School. 
and the winner in music vocal is Cassidy Clark from Palm Beach Gardens High School. Cassidy, an operatic soprano, is a multi-award winner at the district and state levels with the Florida Music Educator Association. She's an all-state musician and a member of two honor choirs, the Florida American Choral Directors Association and the Florida All-State Honor Choir. In addition to being president of her high school's chorus, she also volunteers to help the school band and spends many hours using her musical talent with organizations outside of school. Cassidy plans to continue her music studies after graduation with a goal to be an inspiration to other up and coming black musicians who hope to follow their dreams. The next Pathfinder category is Music Instrumental. The third place winner is Ryan Vladimir from Boca Raton High School. The second place winner is Julian Fente from St. Andrews School. And the winner in Music Instrumental is Rose Friedman from Suncoast High School. Rose is a talented piano and guitar player with a love of computer science and a passion for giving back to her community. She's a two-time AP scholar with distinction and is the recipient of numerous awards. When her school choir lost their professional piano player, Rose was invited to be the new collaborative pianist and has since volunteered more than 200 hours in this role. She is also co-founder and current president of the nonprofit South Florida Tech for Seniors, whose mission is to provide senior citizens with free technical support. Rose plans to major in computer science and hopes to expand her nonprofit to other areas of the country. She will also minor in music. The next Pathfinder category is mathematics. Third place winner is McKenna Senzin from Dreyfus School of the Arts. The second place winner is Jesse Brotman from American Heritage School. And the winner in mathematics is Matthew Kai from Atlantic High School. Ranked first in his class, Matthew is a two-time AP scholar with distinction. He received a perfect score on his math SAT and has earned all A's from kindergarten through 12th grade. He used his knack for math to tutor young students for math counts and volunteers to help fellow students taking AP calculus. As part of Florida State University's 2023 Young Scholars Program, he proposed an innovative application of federated learning for diagnosing heart disease. Matthew plans to study computer science or artificial intelligence. The next Pathfinder category is literature. The third place winner is Alessandra Roberts of St. Andrew School. The second place winner is Neji Aurelian from Atlantic High School. And the winner in literature is Emily Singer from Dreyfus School of the Arts. Emily is a talented playwright and is most drawn to comedic writing. She is a two-time winner of Palm Beach Drama Works Young Playwrights 10-Minute Play Contest, and her work has appeared in her school's literary magazine. She's an AP scholar with distinction and a National Merit Commended Scholar. As part of Stage Door Theater, Emily founded an annual program for actors with Down syndrome and ASD to learn theater terminology and acting techniques. After graduation, Emily plans to continue her studies in literature and theater with a goal to become a TV writer, producer, and executive. The next Pathfinder category is History Political Science. The third place winner is Thane Warrior from American Heritage School. The second place winner is Joelle Carmel from William T. Dwyer High School. And the winner in History Political Science is Shania Grant from FAU High School. As a first-generation American with parents from the Caribbean, Shania is inspired to help others navigate the complex legal system. 
A 4.0 student, she was on the FAU president's list three times, was managing editor for FAU's Law Journal, and interned at the school district's general counsel office. As a dual enrolled student, she is scheduled to graduate in December with her bachelor's degree in political science and double minors in criminal justice and Spanish. She will attend law school and become an immigration or employment attorney. The next Pathfinder category is forensic speech. The third place winner is Morgan Rafferty from Suncoast High School. The second place winner is Arik Karim from Dreyfus School of the Arts. And the winner in forensic speech is Sasha Damari from American Heritage School. Sasha ranks among the best debaters in the country and has earned the top six spots at prestigious competitions, including the Glenn Brooks Classic, Harvard Invitational, and Florida Varsity State Championship. Sasha was the Yale National Champion in Informative Speaking, and the National Speech and Debate Association named her an Academic All-American. Outside of school activities, she also earned the first female Eagle Scout rank in the Boy Scouts of America's Troop 13. After high school, Sasha plans to study global economics and international affairs, and hopes to become an attorney working with refugee and human rights advocacy organizations. The next Pathfinder category is Computer Engineering and Technology. The third place winner is Caitlin Chen from Dreyfus School of the Arts. The second place winner is Caitlin Sadorf from Spanish River High School. And the winner in Computer Engineering and Technology is Nikki Leely from FAU High School. Nikki will be completing her second year of dual enrollment courses at FAU's Wilkes Honors College with a major in data analytics and a minor in economics. She volunteers with FAU's Privacy, Security, and Trust in Autonomy Lab, where she interprets research papers and develops machine learning models using Python coding. Nikki will be attending FAU and hopes to have her master's by 2027. She plans to become a data analyst, focusing on harnessing the power of artificial intelligence and data visualization, and to become a leader who brings economic perspectives to data-driven decisions. The next category is community involvement. The third place winner is Sophia Schur from Spanish River High School. The second place winner is Noah Foreman from FAU High School. And the winner in community involvement is Jasmine Nunez from Clark Advanced Learning Center. Ranked first in her class, Jasmine is a passionate leader who constantly looks for opportunities to help those in the community. As an intern with House of Hope, Jasmine shadowed the organization's leaders to observe firsthand nonprofit management. She volunteers with numerous charities which focus on children and food insecurity, such as Big Brothers Big Sisters, where she serves as a mentor to her little sister, Ariana. Depending on the program to which she's admitted, Jasmine plans to study accounting, statistics, or data science, and then attend law school. Her goal is to use her skills to fight food insecurity and become an advocate for nonprofits. The next Pathfinder category is communications. The third place winner is Darielle Reed from American Heritage School. The second place winner is Isaac Edelman from West Boca Raton High School. And the winner in communications is Lila Mayfield from Jensen Beach High School. Lila is a conscientious and kind student with a passion for telling important stories through her reporting. Her work has appeared in publications including Girls Life Magazine and the Los Angeles Times High School Insider website, 
where she was the only non-Californian chosen for that highly competitive LA Times internship. As a longtime volunteer with the Florida District of Key Club International, she was awarded the Leader of Leaders Award in 2023. Lila plans to pursue a degree in journalism or media studies with a goal to become an investigative reporter. The next category is career and technical education. The third place winner is Nandini Patel from the Benjamin School. The second place winner is Eden Price from Jupiter Christian School. And the winner in career and technical education is Olivia Angerville from Clark Advanced Learning Center. Olivia is a member of the Air Force Junior ROTC at Jensen Beach High School, where she serves as current executive officer for her squadron. Last year, she served as a guardian for a Southeast Honor Flight veteran, a post usually reserved for adults. When Olivia graduates in May, she will have her AA degree in biology pre-professional from Indian River State College. She plans to pursue her bachelor's at a service academy or military university. Her dream is to join the Air Force or Navy ROTC while getting a biology major and then have her own pediatric practice on a military base. The next Pathfinder category is business. The third place winner is Prathik Nathani from American Heritage School. The second place winner is Jacob Glover from Spanish River High School. And the winner in business is Amelia McGovern from Wellington High School. Amelia has been an active member of Wellington High's Marketing Academy since her freshman year. She is on the Academy's leadership board and is part of the planning, organizing, and overseeing of their chapter events. She participates in DECA competitions and placed fifth in the state for marketing communications. She received an ACE Diploma with distinction from Cambridge University and received the College Board Hispanic recognition last year. Amelia plans to study public relations and is focused on becoming a social media manager for a major brand. The next Pathfinder category is art. The third place winner is Autumn Johnstone from Jupiter High School. The second place winner is Arabella Sanchez Garcia from Oxbridge Academy. And the winner in art is Peter Rodriguez from William T. Dwyer High School. Peter is a talented artist and exceptional student with a bright future in fashion. He is self-taught when it comes to sewing, learning from YouTube videos and blogs. Within his first year of sewing, he designed and handmade a dress named Consequential Beauty, which was chosen for the Norton Museum student exhibition. Since learning to sew, Peter has been commissioned to design and create dresses for others, even a wedding dress. Last year, Peter started a sewing club at his school with more than 25 students at the first meeting. Peter will attend Miami-Dade College to study fashion design and then head to New York to work in the fashion industry before starting his own label. The final Pathfinder category is Academic Excellence. The third place winner is Aditha Narayanan from William T. Dwyer High School. The second place winner is Bradley Frischman from American Heritage School. And the winner in Academic Excellence is Vyapti Shuhani Subramaniam from Suncoast High School. Vyapti is a strong leader and passionate academic. She ranks first in her class and consistently demonstrates exemplary work. Vyapti is an AP scholar with distinction, a National Merit semifinalist, and placed third for cellular molecular biology and biochemistry 
at the Palm Beach Regional Science and Engineering Fair last year. She works with Samatva Trust, as well as Platform for the Needy, to support underprivileged students' education in Uganda and India. Vyapti plans to study neuroscience to understand consciousness and apply her knowledge to find a cure for Parkinson's disease. Congratulations to all of tonight's Pathfinder winners. This video and the winner's photos will be posted online at palmbeachpost.com and on the Pathfinder website, pathfinderawards.org. We also appreciate these local businesses who help make our Pathfinder interview day so successful. Thank you also to those who make this program possible. The Pathfinder Board of Directors, the high school coordinators, our judges, the Palm Beach Post, and Nancy Jones, our Pathfinder Program Director. Congratulations to all of the 2024 Pathfinder honorees and winners.